Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video. Today we'll look at the design of storage cabinets under the stairs. I want to show you two methods. In the first method, we will design the cabinet by drawing the front view on the wall view. In the second method, the shape of the cabinet will be given by the wall under the stairs. We will work on this project, the first two cabinets will be made on the wall view. To do this, I will activate the floor plan. We'll create a vector wall view, in which we'll draw the furniture using a polyline. I'll create the wall view using the documentation, wall view, single wall view command, but first I'll set up what kind of wall view I want to create. Clicking on settings, I set the display options to vector drawing and the visual type remains hidden line. When this is done, we can use documentation, wall view, single wall view to create a view of this wall. I only need the space under the stairs, so I adjust the width of the wall view to the stairs. I accept with enter, so I've made the wall view, what I'm putting here. We're making the cabinets in the space under the stairs. I'm going to use the polyline to draw the height and width of the cabinets. The first cupboard starts from this point and has a depth of 550 millimeters. Its height reaches the bottom of the stairs. Enter to close the polyline. I draw the second cabinet, which starts from here, 1100 mm wide and follows the bottom inclined plane of the stair. I close the command with enter. Let's start building the first cabinet. Choose KBB, cabinet from the interior menu. First, I set the height of the legs to zero. Clicking on shape, I select custom. By clicking on the add object button I can specify the shape of the object. I select the frontal profile, click on the define profile to select the profile that we drew before. No need to redraw it, just click on closed loop. Click on inner point of an area and select the area. I press enter to accept, and the frontal profile of the cabinet is created. The front will be this side, so you need to set the side properties afterwards. First, I set the depth to 1180 mm and hit OK. I go to the custom panel properties. I need to go through the list and define which default panel setting will be applied to the side of the furniture. The program will show in red which side is selected. The back panel, in our case it's going to be the cabinet side panel. The top is fine. The side panel will be the front, I set it. The bottom is fine. This side panel will be the back panel, I set it to back. The top is the top and the front is the side panel. Now we set the default door front and handle in the general unit door properties. The default door front will be WS front white. I will hide the handle, so I will select hide handles in door handle menu. I set the side panels to be made of wood. I go back to the default side properties, and select the WS front vertical side panel. I divide the front to the zones by clicking on dividers. First, I create a multiple horizontal. Change the number of items to 2. The first distance and the last distance will be 1100 mm. Use the green tick to divide the front to the zones. In the bottom zone we place drawers. Click on the bottom zone. In drawers I select the multiple with front. I change the number of items to 3, and select the traditional drawer. Use the create button to create the drawers. On the top zone we place a door. I will click on the top arrow, select doors, and place a two, three, or four sided door. I create it with the green tick. Here again, I'll select the traditional door. We have finished the first cabinet, which we save to object library. I click on save and then select save as. I name it cabinet one, the category is my then create a subcategory called cabinet. I accept with OK, and it has been added it to the library. 
Now I place it on the floor plan. Let's look at it in 3D, then in front view. You can see that this method can easily be used to create an attic cupboard. Let's continue with the second cabinet. I use the same command, interior, KBB, cabinet. First, I set the space for the legs to zero. In shape I select custom. Clicking on add object, select the frontal profile, and then click on the star button again to specify the shape that we just drew. I select closed loop, click on inner point of an area and I click on the second area. I press enter to accept, and the cabinet shape is created. I adjust the depth to 1180 mm. I accept with OK, the cabinet is ready. The settings of the sides are probably fine, because the front will now be created from this side. Check it in the custom panel properties. Back. Side. Bottom. Side. Top. And front page. The settings are fine. Let's continue by setting the default door front and handle in the general unit door properties. The default door front will be the WS front white, I hide the handles again. I set the side panels to WS front vertical. Now we can start making the dividers. I create a single vertical divider in the middle. On the right I create horizontal dividers, so I select multiple horizontal command. The number of elements remains 3, I create it with the green tick. I leave the left side as it is. I place a door on the whole cabinet. I select the top arrow. I go to the doors menu and select the two, three or four sided door and create it. I saved the cabinet by clicking on the save button and selecting save as. This will be cabinet two, which I have saved to my category and the cabinet subcategory. It's in the library, I accept it. Let's look at this in 3D. Let's move on to the third cabinet, which I'm going to make using the second method. For this one, I have drawn the dimensions of the cabinets in red on the floor plan. With these I draw two wall sections, but first I'll set the wall properties. The total thickness will be 1180 mm and I disable wall connections. I draw the two wall sections using the building menu, wall, wall command. In 3D, we can see that the stairs did not cut the wall. It is very important to set this. I click on the stairs, select the pencil, and by cut the walls I set all floors. Okay. I accept and rebuild the 3D model. The stairs cut the walls and formed the shape under the stairs, which I save as an object. Use interior, single object, new object. I click on it, hit enter, save to form one, to my category, another subcategory. I accept it, and go to the other one. Same way I go to interior, single object, new object. I click on it, hit enter. It will be form 2 and again I will save it in the my, other subcategory. We've created a new custom shape in our object library that we can use to create the cabinet. I delete these walls, we won't need them anymore. Let's get started on the third cabinet. I go back to the floor plan, I delete these walls here too. We'll start with interior, KBB, cabinet. I set the space for legs to zero, and continue with shape custom command. I click to item to be placed button and select the shape I just saved. I type in form 1, I use this to create a custom shape for the cabinet. It's done, I will make the side panel settings in the default side properties. I select WS front vertical. I continue with the dividers, 
Click on dividers and place a single vertical divider in the middle with the create button. On the left I place multiple horizontal dividers, the number of items will be 4. Hit create. On the right side I will also create multiple horizontal dividers, the number of items will be 3. I change distances, the last distance is 350 mm, the first distance is 420 mm so the shelves will be on the same height. Now we are done, we save it to the library by clicking on save as. This will be cabinet 3. I save it into the same category and subcategory. I place it on the floor plan next to the other cabinet. The last, fourth cupboard will be made in the same way. I choose interior, KBB, and cabinet. I set the space for legs to zero, then the default door front and handle. I select the WS front white and hide the handles. I select WS front vertical for the side panels. I click on shape, then select custom. I click on the plus button, I select the form 2 which I saved. The custom cabinet is created. I click on the dividers. I create a single vertical divider in the middle and on the left side. I place drawers in the left side, click on the left side and select the drawers. I choose multiple with single front, the number of items will be 4. I create it with the green tick. We see that this is not suitable, so we have to change the drawers to another drawers. First, I select the without fronts command in the sizes menu. Now we can see what is happening inside the cabinet. I go back to drawers. On the second tab I remove the default setting and select another drawer from the list. It will be drawer. Even so, the drawer still sticks out a bit, so I have to reallocate the drawers. I go back to the first tab and change the first distance to 350mm. The first divider done. Let's go to the middle one and place multiple with single front. Here the number of items will be only 3. I create it with the create button. Here again, the drawers need to be changed from the default to drawer. We have to change the allocation a bit. I'll change the first distance to 350 mm. In the last zone, I will create a drawer. I choose the single with front. I create it and then change the default setting to drawer. I reset the front, in the first tab, I select the closed 3D representation. Now I show you how this cabinet looks like when it's open with the totally open 3D representation. I close it. I set the third zone not to be made with a white front, but with the WS front vertical. I press and hold Alt, then I click on the front. On the left, I set a custom front. I remove the default setting and select the WS front vertical. I save it. Clicking save as. I name it cabinet 4, to my, cabinet subcategory. Okay, I accept it and put it on the floor plan. Let's look at it in 3D. I've already decorated these cabinets, on the floor plan, I'm going to turn the decoration layer on with the layer walk. I rebuild the 3D model to see them. The model is generated, now we can see how these cabinets look like. By clicking on a certain cabinet, this icon will show you the opening animation. Let's take a look at them from another view. I select the side view, so we can get the opening animation for this cabinet as well. We have come to the end of today's video, I hope it has been useful for you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a nice day. Bye.